All right, chat. It has returned once again. Somehow, Classic Game Commercials has returned. You know the segment. Highly requested. Often, uh, you know, people submit these commercials to me. And people like watching it. And I like doing it. I've come around to enjoying it. If it makes me laugh, I'm happy. Hopefully, these commercials aren't, like, shit. Um, we'll see. Today, I have game commercials, and I also have some non-game commercials. Like, just weird ones. And I have YouTube poops, but less. So... Hi, guys. We have a 3D spinner. <laughs> I remember this one. Okay, so hang on one second. Let me just get this in the limiter because you never know how loud some of these stupid commercials get. And uh, then we can begin. Thank you, everybody that submitted commercials. I don't know who you are. It's just too many people. And also, if you um, want to comment on the video who you are, you, you may do so. But uh, here you go. Hi, guys. We have a 3D spinner for your phone. All right, guys. Classic. Transition effects make operating the phone smoother. Use gestures to hide apps and protect your phone privacy. The 3D clock and weather widget give the phone that special tech style. Like this. Download CM Launcher 3D to get this amazing thing. <laughs> That's a classic one that we used to joke about um, many, many years ago. It's just a 3D spinner. To win. Happy 50th Atari. You never lose, and 7-Up's the one you choose. By the way, this will be Content Claim Central. Wow. Consume. This quality is amazing for a commercial from 40 years ago. <laughs> it's a scan of a 35 millimeter movie trailer advertisement. Actually, a you know what? Okay, we all know consumerism. Let's get it out of our systems. We know. But I gotta say, that commercial was actually really well done for 1982. And it looks great. Whoever transferred that, that's like a piece of gaming commercial history to some extent. So that's kind of neat. But um, I, I don't really like soda. I, I, I know I, I say that almost as a brag. It's just, I, I just don't do it. Billy wanted puppies, but his parents had new carpeting. So he got cardboard puppies instead. Stay. He tried to make the most of it, but it just wasn't the same. Speak. I mean, you can tell then generally when this was made based on the outfit. To the video game. I figured it would no be like PS1. Yeah. They fetch. When he wants them to battle villains, they battle villains. And when he wants to take them for a walk, he takes them for a walk. Game and system sold separately, rated E for everyone. All right, now, chat, does this count on the bingo of things going into the TV or things coming out of the TV. I, we're not doing this again. All right, so so here's... Okay, for those that don't know, we've done a lot of these segments, and essentially there's kind of like a rap sheet of like things that we see during these commercial segments where it's like people getting sucked into the video game so that they go in the video game or them leaving the video game. What other tropes do we have? Old people funny... Right, we got old people funny, um, gross humor from the '90s, stuff like that. There's plenty of other tropes. I'm sure Chat will give me uh, more. Games designed to bring out the magic in your Atari home computer. Larry Kaplan's Kaboom and River Raid. <laughs> wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Kaboom. Look at this guy. This guy's amazing. First of all, who the fuck is Mary Kaplan? Kaplan's Kaboom and River Raid by Carol Shaw. Bombs kept dropping. I tried to catch them, but they kept coming faster and faster. Kaboom! Gingerly, I bent the plane, dodging enemy fire. Oh, amazing acting's another trope. I showed no mercy. 
Now, River Raid and Kaboom are here for Atari Home Computers. Also, we already have a Larry Kaplan, the programmer of Kaboom. Activision was known for creating, crediting their programmers, unlike Atari. Okay. Um, we already have old people. It took five commercials, and we already have old people. Man, look at those legs and get a load of that. Oh, my God. She could turn up my volume. Don't encourage them. Let's go to the fat shop. Gonk. Here's a darling Gonk. number. They're a little oh, sus. I, I will say they're a little sus. Bodies. The latest wax walnut desir gives a healthy glow and gets rid of those little signs of age, you know. She knows for sure. Look, man, oh, man. Hi. Could I try on the 80s? <laughs> Atari video computer system? Yeah, sure. Head them up. Ryan Cowboy. Oh, man. Oh, watch the trail. Wow, those graphics so real. Yeah, well, you're crazy about any boys. Wanna try Mega Mania? I thought you'll impress them. Ooh, ooh, slap shot. Yeah, body check. Watch the puck. Man, goal. Great shot. Oh, I just knew they'd be good at sports. How about Chopper Command? Wow, we're getting a full bevy of video games. Watch your radar. Will you look out? Correct him. Step back and tell me how this bird cage looks. Oh, I. From around here? I am from close. She's an exchange TV and How do TVs have a new TV? Like, how are new TV formed? Oh, I've got lots of Activision games at uh, home. At home? Yo. And now we're the evil empire. Hey, chat. Check this out. I just played Atari 50, which had documentary stuff in it. And uh, that'll be on the Full Sauce channel sometime this week, I'd imagine. Or, or ne early next week. Probably this week. And it was pretty good, but I was basically playing a lot of these types of games. And I, I was very fascinated. And you can actually watch little documentary footage about the history. So, um, very interesting game. Why didn't you do that on stream? A little exclusive for the Full Sauce. Why not? <laughs> Craft. Whoa, frame design, rates. You'll be going to some new places. South Pacific, Antarctica, and you'll be getting some new toys, Gunther. This is a new rocket launcher, a girl's best friend. We've been watching you. Your work is very impressive. Two meter three. Oh, it's three? Okay. Oh, and one other thing. New outfits. Yep. There you go. What? That's why so many people bought those games. Listen, I'll just straight up say it. I had Tomb Raider 2. I didn't particularly care for it. I didn't get it. Sure, there were triangle bubalias. Fine. But aside from locking the butler in the freezer, I think I got to like level 4, restarted the game a couple times, and then I just, I couldn't, I didn't enjoy it. I was playing a lot of N64 stuff, and the controls were so stiff. Just like... Loosen up, Grandma, you're missing him. Danny, some mornings I'm so stiff and sore. <laughs> Gee, I got some Anison. <laughs> Mother, you use Anison? Why not? No you shit! Safety with extra strength. Anison for safety, a pain reliever recognized safe by experts <laughs> used as directed. For strength, extra pain reliever to relieve minor aches for hours. Strength with safety. That's common sense. That was amazing, chat. All right. Anison combines safety with extra strength. Thalison. Chat, that's a weird fucking thing that we just witnessed. Okay, so we got the timing on the word stiff. We got an old. And was that a video game commercial? I mean, technically, yes, because there was Pong. Loosen up, Grandma. You're missing him. Danny, some mornings I'm so stiff and sore. Look at the way she's holding the... the that's like, that's how we played video games back in the day. By the way, this child is 50 now. Crazy. Chat, I was just singing this during the Christ game. 
The word of Christ. The word of Christ. Nintendo introduces anticipation. It brings the board game into the video age. I've played this. On one of my Sunday streams, I played a little bit of this. Anticipation. Now you're playing with power. Word power. Yeah. All right. As a video game expert, I like hat trick on my Atari 78. Wait, who's this? Captain of U.S. video game team. Wow. You know how cool he is? He's got like um one of these wind jackets. As a video game expert, I like hat trick on my Atari 7800 because it's got the speed and action of being on the ice. As a consumer, I like it because it costs under 20 bucks. As a video game expert, I like Desert Falcon on my Atari 7800 because it's got great graphics, animation, and sound. As a consumer, I like it because it costs under 20 bucks. <laughs> As a video game expert, I like Donkey Kong Jr. on my wow. Atari 7800 because it's just like the arcade game. As a consumer, I like it because it costs it's only under 20 dollars. dollars. Um, you know, chat. It's funny because I was gonna say we think that we got like these pro esport players, but these guys were big shit back in the day. I was going to say they were born in the wrong generation because they can't stream on Twitch, but they were on TV. I mean, who knows how much money they made from that ad, but. You tried these berries and cream starburst? Pardon me. What kind of starburst did you just say? Oh, I remember this commercial. Berries and, and berries. berries. Famous. And, and cream. Berries and cream. Oh, hurrah. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. Best quality commercial. Berries and cream, berries and cream. Oh, I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. Great commercial. You know, you did it again, Johnny. I can't believe that commercial. That kick at the end really sold it. We 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 got to get those Starburst product in the store right after that commercial because they're going to be flying off the shelves. Well done, Johnny. You get a raise. When I take on the insurance company, I ain't settling for no small dough. <laughs> hunting for the big bucks. <laughs> oh, my God. The Alabama Hammer. You've been hurt in a car wreck. Let me hunt down the big bucks for you. Call me right now. Okay, clearly not video game, but I did hear a stock sound effect from Goldeneye that isn't from Goldeneye. It was used in Goldeneye. Saul 3D. There's a little uncanniness to this human. Company. I mean, for oh, uh, but especially over here, th yeah. There's like this. This is like an AI generated human to me. Don't drink that stuff. You're in training. Where's the caffeine? Thumb control. Nice I remember this commercial. Only two cracks By the way, there may be repeats on this segment. Trust Sorry. Is part of the game. Ah! Element of surprise. Falling. Oh, can't find the new PlayStation 2? Get the Blockbuster. They've got new PS2 systems and games for rent. Why do I even bother? Wasn't this dude in Walking Dead? Are you gaming up? Didn't pre-order? They got you covered. Man, we lost Bill Hicks and we got this guy instead. What a shame. Yeah, chat, just to let you know, there may be repeats because people that submit these would have to watch every segment and make note of every commercial. So hopefully we don't get too many repeats. I won't remember anyway. For the 2600. When you get an Atari attack, just pop in boxing for Rally Blackjack. Boxing. <laughs> okay, that was a simple one. Very, very simple. You get a little hip hop, you go golden. Did he break through the TV? When you get an Atari attack, I mean, technically, that to me, this counts as someone leaving the television. I'm going to count it, chat. Rated E for everyone. Projector? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it, chat. We'll just count it. It's fine. This was an important game to find a generation. Some of you are very well aware of it. 
You've always wondered who's behind the mask. The answer is you. When hunger strikes, it's up to you to strike back. Hide. Creep. Sneak. This fucking game was so weird. I forget, one of the- my YouTuber- was it one of my Sneak YouTuber cube. buddies? <laughs> or is just a YouTuber? That had like 50 copies of this. Jerma did it? No, he didn't have 50 copies of it. He streamed it, he played it. The Grumps played it. Game Grumps did. Wait, wait, oh, so Ross, you're the perfect guy to ask. Did they have 50 copies of it? I don't think I've ever played it. People kept sending it to the Grumps. So it was like Nuki for Red Letter Media. It was more than you can imagine. That was Jerma's favorite game of all time. That's very unhinged. Can you emulate that? I want to say Scott the Waz also had like 20 for some reason. When Listen, when the great economic collapse happens, currency will be measured in Sneak King. I don't know why I said that like that, but you know what I mean. It's like the $2 bill. My name is Lara Croft, and I'm about to die. <laughs> I only regret that part of my story remains Oh, Nidus. Oh. Buried for all time. Discover Tomb Raider Chronicles, The Lost Adventures of Lara, the first new Tomb Raider game of the millennium, and very possibly the last rated T for team. I mean, yeah, well, the, okay. Definitely not the last, but I see what they're doing. Hell yeah. <laughs> Just a bunch of old guys playing some cool video games. Four swords. Yeah. At some point, I'd like to, I'd like to play this. Maybe, yeah, Dave, uh, Brutal Moose, and I, and she says we're talking about it. I mean, I miss it. I never fucking completed it, but I, I had a good time with it. Vinny, did you know that Sneak King was one of the top 10 best-selling games of 2006? Um, for three bucks? Why not? Oh, I remember this commercial. This commercial's awesome. <laughs> I wonder where those Link puppets are today. Like, how do I get one? Yep. Had that. Rotting in a cellar. God damn it. Finny, you only like it because puppets. Yeah, I do. Exactly. I want the puppet. I'm Coleco's head to head electronic football. And I'm Mattel's football, too. I'm a one player game. And I'm a two player game. I'm only a one-player game. I've got a big playing field. Mine is smaller. I control my pass receivers. I can't. I've got running and passing formations. I just have one formation. Mm, I control my blockers. Blockers? Get Coleco head-to-head -head football with real two-player action. Why settle for less? What even was the game? I don't even know what the game was. It was. It looked like just some weird Star Trek like from the 60s i know football but like i'm looking at the like the where does the game I'm played head -head. In, like in the middle there football. And I'm football. <laughs> it looks like something captain and kirk would use to scan game. a green woman i'm only a one player game i've got a big playing field crossover commercial Pokemon and drink oh 
Oh man. Qué bueno. Disfruta su sabor sin prisa. Oh, okay. Um, well, also, first of all, a couple things to note. Yep, the Pokeball comes out the TV, so that counts, right? For sure, that counts. So that brings our count to two. Um, I'm counting the previous one. Sorry, chat. And also, a child died. You can look. They didn't do the skeleton thing. They just they just activated people with photosensitivity. Probably not. It's, I don't think it's strobing is fast enough. But I'm not a doctor, so what do I know? Um, sorry, by the way. For the price of a Commodore 64, here's what you get from Apple, from IBM. For what it costs to add a Commodore disk drive, Apple. So serious. IBM. Add a Commodore printer, Apple, IBM. No, we're not counting, chat. The, don't worry. Add a Commodore modem, and now you can get an Apple IIe or an IBM PC Junior with three games. Is it any wonder Commodore sells more computers than Apple and IBM combined? Oh boy, who's gonna tell them? Chat, who's gonna tell them? Also, I like how while looking at this, it seems like a funeral. Maybe it's Commodore's future funeral. Um, but also, it's like, what am I looking at? Just it looks like keyboards, like big keyboard. Like that's not gonna buy. You know, I'm not gonna want to buy a video game based on the keyboards. You be Maybe it was different back in the day. Are they doing like fake Devo B 52s music? Whoa, those are some wacky cool dudes. Oh, yeah, a little Oingo Boingo for sure. Yep. That's definitely some boingo. Crazy Bruce's liquors. Oh, I've We've seen got this. The bargains for you. <laughs> Crazy Bruce's liquors. Selection and quality too. <laughs> Come down and see us. You'll think we're too good to be true. <laughs> Steve Ballmer's brother. Crazy Bruce's liquor store. <laughs> Chat, hang on. Come down and see us. You'll think we're too good to be true. Zinfandel and Cabernet, Red Merlot and Chardonnay. Crazy. Sorry about the audio. The audio crust. Uh, hmm. What game is that? Oh, that's a liquor store. Um, that's the 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 liquor store is the name of that game. Um, sorry, I think I have to restart the limiter because. It is very crusty. I thought that was just all the commercials just sounded like shit. I was like, oh, they look like shit. Clearly, they sound like shit. But no, unfortunately, something went wrong with the limiter chat. I would shop at Crazy Bruce's Liquors because I know he's crazy because that means if he's crazy, his prices are going to be like so incredibly low. Bruce's Liquors, we've got the bargains for you. Woo, woo, woo. Crazy Bruce's Liquors. I fixed it. And We're now, good. The competition you've all been waiting for. Hand to hand combat. <laughs> Guess what game, chat? Come true in Dead or Alive Ultimate and Xbox Live. Ah, you can't see. I'm sorry. The globe. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess you'll you'll know the game now. The competition you've all been waiting for. Hand to hand combat. Your wildest dreams come true in Dead or Alive Ultimate and Xbox Live. Real time online action across the town and across the globe. Chat, you didn't need to see that filth anyway. Dead or Alive Ultimate, fighting for global peace one kick at a time. Huh? 
Chrysler Jeep Dobbs in that thing. <laughs> I'm going to give you this fucking the chuckle fuck. Oh, and he's grew. Easiest decision you ever make. From now to the end of the month, pay zero down and nothing till January. Next oh my year. god. New Jeep from Wait, That's these aren't the real price. minions. Wait, this is this is bootleg minions. That's a lot of good stuff. You only going to get that at the JT's Chrysler Jeep Dodge in Lexington. Holy shit. JT'sJeep.com. I can't tell if that's genius marketing or like unhinged I insanity. I think genius. I think genius because you'll remember this and it's also rancid minions. Holy shit. Well, don't you hate it when you sleep on your sandwich? And then vomit an animal? Wait, what the fuck is this? Why? 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 I hate that commercial so much. No, I hate that commercial. Oh god, do I hate it. It's like, it's vile. It is body horror. It's fucking vile. I don't ever want to see that commercial again, chat. Again, not all of this is video game related. We're branching into other levels of insanity. I'm not, I'm not playing it again. <laughs> Do you know who this is a commercial for? Yeah, flashing. Apparently this worked because it's one of the top selling games in the Super Nintendo. I think it's in like the top three or four. So this not on Sega. <laughs> I think we saw this commercial already, but I love that shot of the ostrich. It's like inverse ostrich colors. Amazing. Not on CD-ROM. Oh boy, that would be their undoing. Whoa. Whoa! I mean, it worked on me. I ended up buying the game and loving it. Chat, our first poop is upon us. Again, I'd like to apologize. Um, I, you know, if you have photosensitivity, this isn't the stream for you, but... I'm doing less poops, but... Let's in, let's see what happens. Oh God! Why? Stop! 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 Bargains for you. Get regular. Luigi, look, it's a 3D spinner. Now, rated M for mature. What is the Wow. The warning. Oh my God. Is part of the game. Game enough. Didn't pre-order. Yeah, this is the worst segment I do. Hey, uh, Saul's calling. Pick up your phone. <laughs> Stop this. <laughs> Stop showing the dumpy. Okay, here, more. It gives me safety with extra... All I wanted was change for the paper. Pop in boxing for Rally Black Jack. Let me hunt down the big bug. 
works for you. Call me. Yeah, this is just pure insanity. Just pure fucking insanity. All right, next commercial. What's that? Do you have insurance on this car? No. It must be Eagle Man. What? What do you mean, Eagle Man? I've no. I've got something for you. Oh my God. Oh, look at those low rates. G I honestly, again, genius commercial. Because if I saw that on TV, I would remember that the rest of my life. Also, the okay, the worse, the worse at acting you are, the better. Where's Jill? She's really lonely and out walking the cornfield again. Do you think they will ever find us true love? Not hanging out with us all day. We used to be lonely. Until we met on Farmers Only. Wait, no. FarmersOnly.com is the new online dating site. No. Farmers, ranchers, and good old country folks. You don't have to be lonely at FarmersOnly.com. City folks just don't get it. Chad, is that real? Like, is that is that fucking real? Farmers Only. Oh my god, it's real. <laughs> You know what? Good for the farmers because you know it is a lonely life of of like whey and solitude and wheat, and like you know if you can, I don't get it. I'll never get it. I'm a city guy. I don't know. Good for them though. Started out fast, really fast, but now it's only kind of fast. Hold on, let me check my email. It's not loading. Let me try this again. <sighs> Fifteen gigabytes of this viruses. Be a lot, lot faster. Mom, this internet connection is so slow. I love my computer. I remember I this commercial. Oh my God. It's just not as fast as it used to be. If your computer doesn't run like it's supposed to, if your internet connection is unreliable, even on a so-called fast connection, even if your brand new computer isn't as fast as it ought to be, you might not have any real problem at all. Log on to finallyfast.com. Take the free performance test. Don't actually do this, chat, by the way. This isn't, the like, designed to get you to go to these products. Like, I wouldn't recommend farmersonly.com if you're not a farmer. Don't go to finallyfast.com unless you're Sonic the Hedgehog. Provides you the software you need to get your computer up to peak performance. Log on to finallyfast.com and learn how to optimize your internet connection for faster speeds by automatically changing the settings that most people don't even know exist. Log yeah. on to finallyfast.com and install spyware and onto your computer. computer. Run like new by getting we get to watch what you jack off to. Spyware, adware, and registry errors that make even the best computers freeze and crash. Find out why Ascentive, the company behind this amazing free performance scan, has been featured in Newsweek, Forbes, and the Wall Street Journal. Yeah. If you're thinking of buying a new computer or upgrading your RAM, don't. You could save Don't upgrade your RAM. dollars by taking the finally fast performance test first. It's working great now. I'll send you the address in an email. Finallyfast.com. Send. Dude, it's finally fast. Graphic design is my passion. Finallyfast.com. Take the free performance test at www.finallyfast.com. Get the software you need to get your computer running at peak performance and your internet connection speedy, even while watching video. Finallyfast.com makes everything faster. Though, when I was in college, I worked at the IT department. Hey, I should look at. Finallyfast.com. Hey, my computer's fast. Finally. Finallyfast.com. Um, I did, I did IT. And I was, oh God, it's crazy thinking about that because it's going back like 17 years or so. Fuck. But a lot of the problems that people had where they just clicked every ad, like teachers that didn't know computers. And again, this is like 2005 or six. So they just didn't know what they were doing. So they clicked every ad, downloaded every spyware. Their browsers chat were like science experiments because it was just full of bloatware and spyware and it was like okay well we're gonna download malware bytes or whatever i used i don't remember what what i used at the time and um a lot of other times it was just restart your pc woe be me for with this sword i have unleashed an evil wind that has taken our beloved princess our journey is fraught with danger, but together we four might overcome the mage's dark magic. Only then will all the maidens be released and our princess once again be rescued. 
Who are you? <laughs> the Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures, only for Nintendo GameCube. GameCube. Yeah, that was um. Wasn't that a thing for a while? It was the Who Are You ad campaign that GameCube had, but uh, weird, weird commercial, kinda. All right. Games on the brain at night. Uh huh. Well, wake up! How did I do that? Holy shit. The amount of color, the amount of like things, just so many things happening in this commercial. And then this dude, wow. Wait, isn't that Knights? No, oh, that doesn't, doesn't matter. <clears throat> Listen, chat, if any of you want to fuck the water bottle, I'm going to stop the stream right now. Oh, no, no, no. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Water's had a fruity fling. New Rubicon spray. An exciting. Oh my god! Spring water. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Chat, that's exactly what you think it is. That's exactly what you think it is! Had a fruit. Oh. Look at the strawberry. Look at the. Sh look at the fucking strawberry. Chat, look at its face. Someone in chat just said, I want to make a new flavor. Go to bed, you're grounded. That was unhinged. I love it. Galaxian Warriors, today we're going up against the most feared commander. And everyone Galaxian can. Warriors, we're going up against the most feared Galaxian commander. Warriors, today we're going up against the most feared commander. It's and John Wayne counts. mixed with Elvis. Even you quid. Man, you're shit. Ready, sir. Okay, I'm peeling off. Cover me. Cover me. Under on that blue leader. Heavy fire. 17 degrees. Affirmative. This guy's good. Watch your back. We lost blue leader. I like when video game commercials Wait, get a bunch of people in costumes. Quid, you're a credit to your cartridge. Galaxian, the arcade hit. Now for the Atari 2600 system. Yeah, I like that. I like, I mean, there really wasn't a whole lot of costume, but Galaxian just for a bit there. Today, we're going up against a they, you know, they filmed on a set. Everyone counts. Even Give him credit no! for that. Get your hand out of your pocket and plug it to GameCom. It links your Oh, remember this guy? Downloads and open up the action. Upload this. High score to Weber's around the world. Game Boy, don't link the web. So get your hand out of your pocket and get GameCom now. R remember that? Hey, you. Wow. Get your hand out of your pocket and nuke them. They dig them on GameCom. It speaks. A bigger screen, blistering graphics. Terrible gameplay. Not even good, like, Duke Nukem replication. So yeah, um, yeah, that's insane. Um, there was a whole big promo for Gamecom that we watched while that guy yelled at us and told us how stupid we were, and that like if we we didn't get the Gamecom, we were even stupider than he called us previously. It was crazy. At GameFly, our passion for gaming has led us to rent games differently. We think different is better. Choose from thousands of the latest. I remember this commercial. Games delivered right to your door. Keep them as long as you want with no late fees. Then send them back in our prepaid envelope. People think we're crazy to rent games for as low as eight ninety five for the first month. We think we're visionaries. Our vision? Make renting easier. Different? Maybe. Smarter? We think so. Chat Go is saying that this is a classic commercial, but yet... How long ago is this? This couldn't have been more than, like, five years... What, what ten years ago? 2008-ish? 2007? Oh god, that's 15 years. Oof. I got a book for Christmas. I got a sweater. I got a cool game here in my stocking. Yeah, I 
Got a new system. Yeah, just what I wanted. I have the best mom. She rocks so hard. Yeah, go mom. Cool game. Cool game. Yeah, yeah. I hate it. Games make people merry. Get the perfect gift at GameStop. Power to the players. Jingle nope. bells, jingle bells. Woo! I don't think I will. <laughs> I choose you. Let's go, Lugia. <laughs> that's no match for my Exodia. Exodia, that's you. Wait, what that's the fuck? Pokemon. God game. Yeah. You belong at gaming, etc. I was gonna say this kid uses a fucking different. Video. Bakugan. Video games it's not Pokemon. All under one very large roof. Gaming, etc. Is your ultimate tournament center. All right, who's ready to get beat by a girl? From the casual. Oh my God. <laughs> competitor. Gaming, etc. Easy off exit yeah. thirty of I ninety five. Bro, if we go. Off I ninety five, we uh if we go maybe um a girl will touch us and then challenge us in video games, in Stratford. Exit thirty Lordship Boulevard. Lordship Boulevard is a great name for a boulevard. Question chat: Where is Stratford, Connecticut? Vinny, we gotta go. I'll go, Ross. Let's do it. <laughs> it's Conne it's Connecticut. Yeah, ninety five. Eh. Alrighty. Um. The the uh, the special effects here are pretty great. Also, I want to see the games. Uh, Guitar Hero World Tour, Smash Brawl, Halo was that it? Reach or three, Modern Warfare, Street Fighter Four. Interesting. It's three. Okay. I mean, there was a place like that in New York that I used to go to that just had video games that you could just play. It was... wasn't great. Get me those yeah. Got them. You can collect all 12 Pokemon trading card game cards inside participating boxes of Big G cereals, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, part of a complete oh my god. Chat, that was literally me, like, not that long ago. <laughs> But yeah, that commercial's from 2019. Um, really, really annoying, annoying commercial. You hungry? You want something to eat? I've got something for you. Here you go. Here you go. Wow. Whoa. What? You want us to lucky? Well, you'll have to impress me, monkey. <laughs> I played the suburban Sasquatch sound, Chad. That wasn't the commercial. This is this is an astounding commercial. You have amazing green screen. You have the best three D models. Whoa! Good acting. What? You want us lucky? Well, you'll have to impress me, man. <laughs> You have a monkey playing a guitar. Oh, it's not really a monkey, is it? Also, look at look at the logo on the rock. Wow, that's such real. Chat, that's such real. Oh god. Mom know about this? Who? <laughs> this dude, he reminds me it really kinda of reminds me of like an America's choice Phil Hartman. You know? So I'm Hang on. I'm Christmas shopping at EB Games, and I ask for a no way, and a thank you, thank you, thank you. Then I say I definitely need an. Okay, so this is a newer commercial. Oh God. Kids? Oh no. And I need a WTF. No, two, Grandma and Grandpa. <laughs> Last thing I need is a dumbstruck, and she asks, "Is that like a gobsmack?" Turns out it's more like a stunned silence. No way. Awful. Thank you, thank you. Oh yeah. What the? Awful. 
EB Games. They put the E and the B EB in Christmas. Wait, what? What? I said that just now. I just said that. What do you mean EB Games? They're still around? <laughs> what? Oh, it's Canada? Oof, what a commercial. Dog? Wait, is this a sad dog commercial? Why was this included? I don't want to be sad. Dogs just inherently look sad. Please give us a pound. What the fuck? Have to call the what the fuck? Oh my god! England. What the fuck? Buy the product or the dog gets it. Please give us a pound. The dog looks genuinely scared of the gun. I I hate th I hate this so much. <laughs> it's not product, it's actually dog. Oh, we'll have to pull the trigger. Cause I took my headphones off. Oh. RSPCA is like PETA. What do they want you to buy the dog? What do they want you to do? That better not show up in the YouTube poops. What makes you sweat? Is it passion? The rock? Or could it just be working out heat? with his energy drink? What about not knowing if your very next breath will be your last? What about all three? Chat, it's fake Alice in Chains. They, they, I can't believe it. Chat, I'm sure, listen, I'm going to play you a little bit of Them Bones by Alice in Chains. Tell me if this sounds familiar. That's probably all I can play. Okay, let's go back. What about all three? Ah! Tomb Raider. From IDOS Interactive. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're getting some award-winning Tomb Raider commercials today. When things are out of control, a simple solution is the personal computer software in IBM's Assistant Series. I love this commercial so much. Figures into filing assistant. Love those quackers. To work up a plan. Or draw up a graph. There's writing assistant to help you handle words. And reporting assistant to pull everything together. The Assistant Series from IBM. Getting all your ducks in a row has never been easier. Did they train those ducks? That's amazing. I love them. Um, Charlie Chaplin was a live chat when, you know, there was this uh, IBM stuff happening. It's true. He wasn't. No, he wasn't. He was, I mean, he was, but was he? No, he died 77. Oh. Of course, it says it's pancakes on the penis outside. sleeper cell There's activation a lot music. More on the inside. And the prices designed for the very hungry family. I hate it. So apparently it's from 1969. Uh, so they were just like getting these new sounds and they were like, hey, listen, Crazy Frog, we would love for you to do a commercial for IHOP. 
IHOP. And then Crazy Frog wasn't available, so they got less Crazy Frog, his sister, um, <laughs> to work to work on that one. What's up, guys? Hey. Can I'm a sick? You're a smoker? No, I never even bought my own pack. Oh my god. It's a trap. Oh, it's super bad mixed with memes. It's a trap. They got her? I'm not a smoker, smoker. I'm gonna do yoga tomorrow. I hate it. No, I hate this. It tastes like this is awful. Pots, so it can't be bad for me. I'm gonna pick up smoking again just because of this commercial. Unicorn. I'll quit when I graduate. Tis indeed a trap. <laughs> uh, I only smoke when I. Oh, it's a trap! <laughs> I mean, I remember similar commercials. I've never seen this one, I, and I genuinely hate that commercial very much. Um, how do you do, fellow kids? And no, Chad, I'm not actually going to start smoking because, you know, the way things work, sometimes people cannot discern when you make a joke. So do not worry, for I am well and truly done with smoking cigarettes. And do you know why, Chad? Because... Crazy Frog told me not to. <laughs> International yeah, House of Pancakes. Hey, Phil. Don't worry about it. Sorry about it. Okay, I guess I want that game now. Okay. Yeah, these may be some of the worst commercials I've ever seen. And for good game, like, that's actually a good game. But... Like, there's nothing there <laughs> that makes me rem... Okay, maybe I would remember the commercial, but I'm not going to be like, yo, that commercial was dope to my friends. I'm just going to say that was fucking weird. It's just incomprehensible and not at all advertising the game. Wow, gameplay. Grab some heavy, heavy artillery. Then splatter 120 levels of superbugs in this sci-fi struggle for survival. This game was okay. Only on N64. I didn't love it. I didn't I'd play the whole thing, though. But, uh... Yeah. It's a fine commercial. Pretty simple. Chad, as much as I hated that IHOP ad, I'm still hearing it. I can still hum it and sing it, despite having heard other commercials since then. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> Whoa, Diddy Kong speaks. Dong? Wait, 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 did I just hear dong? Yep, that's dong. Also, st those toys are really, look at, look at K. Rule. K. Rule is amazing. That's like the Luigi meme. Okay. Ah! 
God damn it. Chat, I'm going to be honest. I have never seen that version of that. I've seen one where something goes, whoa. I've seen, I maybe I have. Maybe I have. I didn't remember it. But my memory of that was the one I showed you a couple weeks ago, where it was just some weird puppet that went, whoa. It's a meme from Germany. Well, that aired, and I hate it. Hi, Dad. Where you been? Jeff's house. New Genesis game. Kid Chameleon. 100 levels. 1,800 screens. Longest I've ever played. Whoa! That's good, son. Every time I changed helmets, I was someone else. That's nice, dear. Sky cutter. Eye clock. Was that Shutter the, like, Daddy, would you like some sausage? Everybody's saying. Can't. Later, Mom. Organ. What's with him? Just having an identity crisis. Why, why is this dude live in such a weird house? It's like Pee Wee Herman house. Do you not, chat? do you not play games like this? Only on Sega Genesis. That's what I like to call kicking back and actively playing your video game. Very important. So emotional. Well, you never know. Who you're gonna run into. Who you run into next. Kingdom Hearts for PlayStation 2. Rated E for Cloud, is that you? Um That song is aggressively claimed. Uh oh, Johnny. Uh oh. Fuck. The narrator for the commercial is Mark Hamill. Wait, what? Yeah, I can hear it. Yep, I can hear it. Um, well, now we got triply VOD muted. Hi, hi, konnichiwa! <laughs> I Japanese, but you know what it is? Sushi bar Kisu, located on Markham Place in Little Silver, New Jersey. Kisu means real Japanese. It's the best sushi in Little Silver. Enjoy karaoke on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Take out a free delivery when you drive to a location on Markham Place. Godzilla! Madra! Sushi, low price. I don't think you could do that, buddy. Sushi bar Kisu. Located on Markham Place in Little Silver, New Jersey. Holy... Boy, boy. Holy shit. Chad, it's still open. <laughs> the outside of that building does not look the most appetizing. I'll be honest. Like, I, I don't look at this and think to myself, this is going to be awesome sushi. The best in Little Cock, New Jersey or whatever. It really doesn't look that great. Little Silver, New Jersey. This is a 3.9 on Google, which isn't terrible, but the best in Little Silver. Listen, now I've been to Little Silver. I don't even know where Little Silver is. Little Silver, New Jersey is. Oh, that's like um, not too far from. Like Red Bank, uh, not too far from PNC Bank Art Center and like. um. Bradley Beach. Okay. It's like Central Jersey. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going. Hell no. Oh, poop, by the way. It's it's poop time. <laughs> As you can tell by this face. Here we go. Poop number two. Oh. No, no, no more claim. Computer software in IB. <laughs> Our bodies, Douglas. That's out. No, 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 it's so complicated, I know, right? But why, why would you play that? Getting all your ducks in a row has never been... Come on, Geekah! 
Oh my god. Oh no! No. Games make people. Yeah, like <laughs> you might run into the Sutsuru clown. Globito. Stop. No, I wanted this never to. No. God damn it. <sighs> no, stop with the dog. I don't want to see the dog. Thanks, Mario. All right, great. Th there you go, chat. There is your poop number two. And poop it was. Continuing on. No! You fucking sick bastards. No, stop that. Oh god, I just- the acid reflux instinctively... It, it, um... Oh man. Do I need a Tums after that? Ugh. Clive Gallagher. He used to call me Lara Beanstalk. I'd run home crying, he'd just laugh. Sure he's not laughing now. No. No, no, he just follow me around and look at my bottom. Mm. Are men only interested in you because of your body? No. I'm rich too, darling. G4, now available on AT&T Broad. <laughs> that was a G4 commercial? What? It says here, um, there's a note included for some of these Tomb Raider commercials. While some of the Tomb Raider commercials were sourced from YouTube channels such as Tomb Raider Empire, I took great pains to rip a selection of the core design era Tomb Raider commercials that were put on a DVD that came with EB Games Collector's Edition pressings of Tomb Raider The Angel of Darkness. All files were deinterlaced using hybrid with vapor synth and G, uh, sorry, QT GMC. So we might not have even seen like all of the ones the g4 that's one of them the g4 one is one of them but there's a lot more tomb raider stuff so wow that's uh commercial preservation how about that i mean it's just a job after all isn't it some people deliver the post i jump over rivers and fight tigers people think that's easy they don't see all the bloody time I spent coaching these lads through training mode. Once this little bugger from Cleveland couldn't get me out of an alley, then left me. That was it. It just cut. Huh. Do you consider yourself a star? I'm the same girl I've always been. You don't sound surprised about your popularity. I've been deeply involved in the gaming community for years. It's where my biscuits buttered, so to speak. <laughs> you could describe yourself in five words or less. What would you say? I fall, I get back up. That's no yeah, commercial exactly. skipping. Hmm, you're a cheeky one, aren't you? Okay. Whoa, really high quality commercial. Sacred tombs. Ancient curses. The undead. Like pretty decent CG too for the time. And then you play the game. The next tomb Lara Croft enters be her own. Get the game. Triangles. Tomb Raider. The last revelation. Introducing the epic challenge that only a Super Nintendo Entertainment System could make possible. I'm pretty sure I've seen this one Across at some point. Land and water, you search. Deep into a parallel world where light becomes dark 
you search. Kind of a cool little model. Oh man, th they made it treasure room. You find I want that sword. Done. The sword the from the cover of the game. Zelda, a link to the past. Now you're playing with power and superpower. Okay, I love this commercial because it's got like little sets and and like miniatures. Dark. And because I'm a Zelda fan, but they actually like they built like a little like castle on a hill. <laughs> Sure, it doesn't look like what's in the game, but that doesn't bother me. But here is cool. They've made a treasure room. Sure, it looks like shit in motion, but they actually built the sword. Someone like forged the sword from the cover. Not the master sword necessarily, but the cover sword. It's cool. I like it. I know a place that's peaceful and quiet. A place where animals play. It's called a forest, but every year we start forest fires. A careless match, a cigarette, and poof, fire. So the next time you're in the forest, be extra careful, okay? <laughs> if you knew it was me, would you have listened? Um... No, but now I'm scarred. You know what that, that, you know what that reminded me of? I know a place that's peaceful and cool. <laughs> Seriously, there's some horror aspects to this commercial. Look at this. This right here. Chat. Whew. I would have hated that if I saw that as a kid. Hey, this is Audrey Pufton and my brother Glenn. <laughs> and this is the world of Fart Planet we made. So, we start on Bum Mountain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> is a howling mist of poo smell. Run away from that. Now climb into the bum cannon. Pull the finger. Ready. Aim. Yay! Little big planet. Play with everything. And who says video Only games aren't art? You turn on the TV. You've never played a video game. You see that. That's art. That's art. So we got a bunch of Tomb Raider chat. Again, a lot of this was ripped from like a DVD or something. Wait, Luc Lucasode? Was that the sound from Symphony of the Night? It is. Well, it's a sound that Symphony of the Night uses, at the very least. It's a fake product made for the game? Vinny, no, it's not. It's a real product. Oh, we got one guy hard. So it's like part two, and there's part three. I'm just skipping around a little bit because this is a lot of the same type of stuff. Just, you know, wolves dropping. Uh, okay. I mean... Damn. Sure is... Sure is lots of crazy shit happening. Thing is, I don't remember Tomb Raider on the PS enough, because I only played a little bit of two. Was it like... I guess there were dinosaurs. There were dinosaurs, never mind, it's fine. You had to shoot dinosaurs with pistols. Okay, this is the best one. It's like a blooper reel. What the hell? Oh, okay, it's just like the DVD menu. 
Oh, real Lara. Go wait, gorilla suit? Another Lara? Sure are a lot of Lara Crofts in this world. Please, you got to stop this. Just stop it. <laughs> Please. The fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Lucasade. Oh, this is the movie that was from 2018. Oh yeah, maps and locks. Hell yeah. Really massive gargantuan jumps like this. Forests, obstacle courses with big spiky things, falling, archery, caving. This guy, more falling, swimming, hide and seek, explosions, and cliffhangers. Lara Croft's energy. Yeah, that about sums it up. Honestly, I get it now. I get it. Okay, this Metroid commercial is scanned from a 35 millimeter print, proved to Dennis Carl Robidoux by Nathan Boone. The film was scanned using his DIY film scanner called the G U G U S S E, Gugusi, Guguse Roller. Long story short, the Guguse Roller was assembled from 3D printed parts, three stepper motors, and lots of bearings and bolts and nuts. The electronics consist of Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi HQ camera, small custom electronics board, Arduino that is not supposed to work alongside a Raspberry Pi, but somehow works. The scanner itself scans films from 8mm up to 35mm. That's a lot of information, <laughs> okay? But here it is. Let's see if it was worth all the information. It's a Metroid Prime commercial. It might be the live action one. I think it is. Yeah, this was a cool commercial. Silence of space only punctuates the feeling I loved death, this commercial. I watched this a ton. This only one thing and there was a making of video of this too. I remember watching. Evil. And it must be destroyed. Decimated. Exterminated. Just the jump very much looks like wire work, but that's okay. I mean, it's just awesome. This is a really, really cool commercial, and it makes me want a Metroid show or movie. A good one, which I mentioned could probably be done like The Mandalorian, but cool. Engine? Check. Fuel on. Check. Tires? Uh, check. Helmet. Helmet? Check. Okay, aerodynamic he's not, but he sure can make some tracks. Mickey Speedway USA. From Rare. 16 magical tracks, four player action. Mickey, Donald, and the whole Disney crew. Goofy? Hey, who are you calling Goofy? Check. Rated E for everyone. Yeah, I didn't buy that game. <laughs> so clearly, whatever commercial I saw didn't work. Oh yes, chat. Hey, oh yes. Look at the screen. Let me ask you a question. Do you like awesome things that are awesome? Then you gotta play this game, dude. It's freaking cool and crazy addictive, like popping bubble wrap addictive. Check this out. See, oh. that's your dash move. There's a short dash, a long dash. Sure looks dash, awesome. <laughs> slide. There's probably a dash that makes you breakfast. I don't know. Great idea. Wait, what? Point is, you're dancing around like a <laughs> Oh, God, this is hard to watch. Oh, and look at this. There's all these combo moves you can do. Then you can do combos on combos to rack up your score. And I know you like that combo on combo action. Go ahead, say it. Do the line. Save the best for last. Absorption boost. You kill an enemy, and you can absorb their power-ups. 
stuff that'll make you faster and stronger and make the bad guys cry like an anime fan on prom night. <laughs> so what do you think? You ready to play? <laughs> I'm ready. You motherfucker. <laughs> Is there anyone here who's never seen this commercial? Number nine. Oh, so there's an okay, good. Well, I'm I'm happy that you could see this because that was a very famous kind of meme for a while, and I guess this is going back what, um, six years, seven years, I would imagine, something like that, right? Twenty sixteen, yeah. So that's eight years, yeah. Um. Wait, is that eight? That's six. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's time to put me in the home. But I'm glad I could show yours. that to you. What? My pizza. It's a Paolini's pizza, and it's a heck of a lot bigger than yours. Is it good? Best in the city. Paolini's uses only the freshest ingredients, like homemade dough, 100% mozzarella cheese. Stop it! You should try the lasagna, too. I don't know why you ordered from that other place. Me either. Just a bad habit, I guess. Better break that habit fast before you starve. Nothing makes me want to eat pizza, you know, more than watching a nerd put his finger in his ear. I'm calling Paulini's right now. What's the number? It's easy. 881-F-A-S-T. Hey, that spells fast. For a quick lunch, dinner, or an emergency late night snack. Where is that? Where's... Mine's bigger than yours. What? <laughs> also, yes, if you listen, if you don't have a guy flipping pizza dough like this, it's not real pizza. The freshest ingredients like homemade. Look how happy he is. He's so happy. Toronto? Well, that was, uh, good. Good ear snot on the pizza, too. Good morning, Dolly. What, Dolly? I have syrup on my face. I'll get syrup on your face. Thank you, Dolly. Look how many we have. You like another bite? They're so yummy. Mm-mm-mm. And we have all the go to ourselves. Dolly, 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 Dolly. Get away from my age. Holy shit. Dolly, a chipmunk. Ego waffles are part of this complete breakfast. They're so fluffy and golden, you just can't let them go. A part of this complete breakfast. That was like a large Marge moment from Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Fuck that. Or Bilbo. God, I don't like it. I don't want it. It's never again will I have Ego. <laughs> Previously, no, they're fine. On Deadliest Hunters. If you like crap. After 36 days at sea, our relentless heroes work day and night to get through as many traps as possible. Are you kidding me? I don't get it. I mean, what's so deadly about I remember this one. a crab fishing? Are they trapping giant sea beasties with deadly venomous fangs? Or electric fire breathing creatures with razor blade claws? No! They're catching itty bitty crabbies. I mean, look at them. Pa! Be careful, ladies. One of these things might give you a might nasty punch. If you really want to hunt for something deadly, then take a whack at these remarkable creatures. They're all found in the most immense, gorgeous, and hidden places. My first you've monster ever hunter. Seen. You want to know where? Africa? South America? No! These amazing hunting grounds can only be found Oh man, I in forgot about this music. In life, they're hunters, and then they're monster hunters. And I forgot how many times I've heard that music. <laughs> Good fucking game. Good commercial, generally. I mean, you get some gameplay, but you get a little little comedy. Probably more gameplay would have been nice, but I liked it. Lemon. Uh-huh. Is that Max Mom from Always Sunny? Orange. Uh-huh. Wait, what the fuck? No, what is that? What do you mean? Fuck! Fuck! You eat Skittles? Fuck! I love you eating Skittles every time I eat Skittles. <laughs> oh, this is a scornful commercial. I miss Dad. Cut the rainbow. I miss Dad. Rainbow. What the fuck? Happy Mother's Day. How do you, like, how does that get greenlit? I know that Skittles has gone through some weird fucking phases and did weird commercials from time to time, but yeah, umbilical cord that the person can taste through. 
no thanks. No, you're not. No, no, d- not approved. Bad commercial. Stop. Atari introduces the woman of the year, Ms. Pac-Man, with a style of entertainment that Pac-Man never knew. An endless supply of floating goodies, oranges, pretzels, <sighs> all different Nice greens, safe Pac-Man commercial. And, entrances, and the green screen so difficult to reach, you may never see it again. <laughs> Liza Minnelli? All righty. Got a little animation there. Popped out of the TV chat. I think. Atari. To reach, you may never see it again. Yeah, that counts. That's three, I guess. Less than I expected. <laughs> yeah, we're not counting, though. We're not counting. It's fine. Coochie, coochie, coo. He so has your peanut butter. Well, he's got your jelly. Time for a feeding. Mm. No! Ah, jam it. Crazy good. Oh. <laughs> That's a little dark, isn't it? Time for a feeding. Mm. No! Yeah, it's a little dark. Some weird fucking dark commercials for stuff that's like not what you'd expect. Huh. We're the trust group from Queens, New York. And we just crushed those tired Minnesota Vikings. We burnt Wayne New Rose York. As he broke this toast. Uh, somebody call the burn unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody help out Dwayne. Get NFL 2K1. Go online through Dreamcast and yo, show them the web address. Look for Crush Crew and stomp these mullet wearing, T top driving hairballs. Stomp them. Shut up. <laughs> I remember those dudes were included. Like the football 3D dudes were included in the Dreamcast's like extent, um, right extended universe. I guess. Yeah. Also, listen, I I get people enjoy football. I could watch once in a while at like, um, you know, some some Super Bowl bowl party or something. Super Bowl. Wow. But um, wait, is a vole a type of animal? Hang on. Vole. V-O-L-E. Yeah, it is. What is a Super Bowl? It would be like like massive, wouldn't it? Um, But chat. When I see people behaving like this or like footage of people like like breaking cars because their team lost. I, it makes me like not want to watch the sport as much because <laughs> I've been to bars where I was just trying to have like, you know, good nights with my friends and then it's like some sport is on and people are going mental and I'm just like, ugh. but you know, whatever. If you like the sport, that's fine. Um, hey, you know what? I like poop. You, you, YouTube poop generate, generated, generated YouTube poop. All right, Mr. No. And we're back to the. Uh, you like another bite? No. Spare me. I'll... Well, we can dance if we want to. We can leave you. We can mute your VOD tonight. Thirty-six days at sea. Oh. <laughs> You're great. Well, isn't it? Some people got these remarkable creatures. Mom's dad, he broke this toast. <laughs> Somebody Some people got these remarkable creatures. If you could describe yourself in five words or less. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be a lot of Tomb Raider in this one, isn't there? Together, we've got masks, we've got swords. Hello there! I mean, he just laughs. This one's nonsense. I thought I turned that off. I was like a hundred percent sure I turned that off. I mean, up your ass. Get on with it. Wait, what? <laughs> but he sure can make some track. Oh. There they are. Cow 
Yeah, that that this one was really bad. I'm good. No, no, no we're good. All right, let's keep going. We got more. We got plenty more, in fact. But I mean, I'm not sure how long the segment's gonna go. But let's just keep going. Nope, a Game Boy. <clears throat> Is this like... Oh, 1992. It's just amazing to think of how long the Game Boy was in circulation and still like, you know, getting games. It's like the Switch is that now. <laughs> we'll be playing crusty-ass games on the Switch for the next three years. Whoever made this compilation probably lived in Jersey NJP? Yeah, or lives there now great food, <laughs> because great prices, and while getting a lot of Jersey pizza, stuff. Specializing in steaks, hoagies, salads, wings, and more. Hoagies. Ice cream. Just a phone call hoagies. away. Plus fast delivery. Call now because you're down with NJP. Good. Thanks. Attention shoppers. <laughs> The new Atari cartridge game is in. Excuse me. <laughs> Uh-oh. George again. <laughs> Atari's air speed battle. It comes with 27 games, but that's just for starters. You can get nine cartridges, 187 Ooh, games. Blackjack. <laughs> oh! I'd like an Atari. Sorry. Only our demonstrators left. Mine! No, George. Mine. The new video computer system ah, by Atari. He got his own. All right, he bought it. More fun. Warner Communications. He just wanted to play poker. He loves it so much. Listen up. I'm not here to babysit you panty waste. I'm here to make you better Nintendo players. Panty wastes? Oh so my god, they said that in a Nintendo commercial? Jackson? What? Uh, Wrong. You. Wrong. Do a little dance. Wrong. To get better at Nintendo, pick up super secret game tips on packages of Pepsi. Best of all, you could win one of thousands of Super Nintendo Entertainment Systems delivered via Federal Express. Folks, <laughs> I want you in my office now. This kid's an animal. You could win Super Nintendo with Pepsi. Those were the days where you had to buy a soda to figure out how to beat your Mario Brothers level. Ah, back in my day, we had to drink gallons of it. Now nah, it's all these might and do to get double XP. Well, back in my day, we had to get Pepsi to find out how to beat Mario Wild level 12. It's you and Pitfall Harry together again. Rhonda, she must be dead. In Pitfall 2 Lost Cavern. Oh, electric eels. Where's Rhonda? Not that. Amazon frogs. Oh, dead end. A balloon. That's a balloon? Oh, oh it was Atari. Sorry, in television. Or whatever this is. Pitfall 2 Lost Cavern. Yeah, the 2600. Never played that one. Played the original. Speaking of... It's heavy. I found the way wasn't Jack gold. Black in one of these commercials? Like a very young Jack Black? Oh, he was like a Crocodile Man uh, video game or something. Did I mention the tar pits? <laughs> Werner Ziegler? Game designed by David Crane from Activision. No. Martin. Martin. But in the world. I need you to put it away now, Walter. Yeah, this is when Sony decided to just fuck with viewers. I bet developers loved that cell processor. That's what their brains felt like trying to develop for that monster of a fucking game console. Yeah. 
Genji 2 is an action game that takes place in actual Japanese history. You know, I believe the PlayStation 3 commercials were my most spiritual commercials. You care to elaborate? No. The battle for the... The battle for the championship. The Pokemon League games continue next weekend on Kids WB. Pokemon solutions to seventh heaven problems. What are you doing? Wait, what? Seventh heaven. The older brother is teasing the younger brother. What should the littler boy do? Girls like a close shave, so he should shave really close. Incorrect. He should tell him to back off. Best quality uh, <laughs> VHS rip. Dot com. Correct. Catch more Seventh Heaven this Monday night on the WB. Wait, did they have to promote Seventh Heaven with Pokemon? Like, that is so fucking weird. W was it just not, like, getting enough viewers? <laughs> they were like, hey, we'll just use Pokemon to promote this other unrelated show. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Nah. I have to find out what this is. What's with all the scorn marshals? I don't know. Chat, what are they advertising? I'll be honest, I don't know if this is an advertisement for a video game or it, it could be anything. Fuck that. Is anti-drug commercial, uh, dr theater, dr drama, arts program in a college? Son las dos caras de un mismo problema. Cuando tomas alcohol en exceso, el alcohol te toma a vos. Oh, well that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> uh... Yeah, well, I mean, now, it, like, I feel dumb. But obviously, the dude's drinking beer. Keeps drinking beer, and then... Uh-oh. Too much beer, and then sad face. And then, as you know... You know, the crash. And then, um... Following that, what is it? It's... Yeah, it's, uh... Teleducativo. Teleducativo. I don't really care what she says. You're not too fat to wear a thong. You think I'm fat? What are you talking about? Oh, God. What am I talking You want to go? Huh? Chat, guess the game. I corrupted it. Well, corruptions were sent to me. Yep, you got it, chat. Some of you got it. Hot girls to wrestle on command. Rumble Roses. Remember these Bumping fucking the corruptions? Down in the mud. It's Rumble Roses. And it plays as good as it looks. Rated M for Mature. From Konami. Dumb. Neptune challenges you to Sequest by Activision. 
with the Atari 2600, behold, Sequest. Your submarine must help stranded divers. I just can't help but laugh. Arts. Like, they put so much production Foolish value into these commercials, and then that's the gameplay. It's just, holy beware. fuck, what a different time. Abound. I think I hear your tiny And then <laughs> the TV. <laughs> the little TV. Kill. Sequest. Steve Cartwright does it again for Activision. God. Fox, safe at home. Brought to you by Sega. The White Zone in tension. This is the final boarding call for Flight 207. Only Sega Saturn has three 32-bit processors. Hey guys, th that's our flight. We've got to go. Three processors mean better. No, sorry, we're busy playing Sega Saturn. Sony PlayStation. It, it's Germa. We're trying to land an airplane. The then I'll find someone who will. Sega Saturn. Now only 249 for unlimited action and the coolest games. Do you hear me? When you've got Sega Saturn, nothing else matters. Sega! Yeah, that's right. So if you've got Sega Saturn, remember, all your problems get melted away, including trying to learn how to fucking land a plane. Mmm. Meat. Ah, uh, this fucking cursed commercial. Soda. Yeah, this one's classic, too. I know I've showed this in some capacity. It's just so stupid and so good. <laughs> the music. Unbelievable. It's just it's just unbelievable. The Burger King triple lover. He like a snake. Come on, lover. Yeah, I guess you want one now, don't you? Yep. I've seen the Metal Gear version. I have. Highly memorable and disturbing commercial. Both were fighting for Sega third party game of the year. Jean Fraud Van Damme once again has returned to the stream. Soldiers of Fortune. More action, more firepower, more attitude. And Sega third party game of the year. David Caradont. Available on Sega Genesis and Super NES. Theme over. Nice overdub. NES. Theme over. <laughs> like, really? Theme over. If you've got a Genesis, or a Game Gear, or a Sega CD. There are new Sonic games coming. This is one of the genres of commercial I like to call Sonic stupid Media. face commercials. Really fast. Where. It's early 90s, and they show, like, a dumb kid who's just really dumb, and Sega or Nintendo or whoever just insults them. Hey, dummy, your face is stupid. You know what you need? Sonic video game. And they just look like the dumbest motherfucker on the planet, because that's, like, part of the apathy of the 90s. You know, it's cool to be stupid. Yep. Yep. Now, this is the original Splatoon, right? Genius marketing. <laughs> it really worked, because we were all saying it, and we still say it to this day. I mean, the Wii U didn't work in Splatoon's favor. I don't think people bought a Wii U for Splatoon, but it's a lot of gameplay. The game looks good. And then you have a song that you'll remember forever. We love the sub. Oh, God. Yeah, I remember this, too. And, like, just this genre of these things. Right now, 
Quiznos, world famous Italian sub is only two ninety nine. It kind of looks good, and I liked Quiznos, but they destroyed all the Quiznos. I, they're bankrupt, right? Like they're gone. There's probably like a couple, but um, I, you know, I kind of miss. I remember they were pretty good. Yeah, chat two ninety nine. Are you kidding me? Like now, if you want a comparable thing at like a Jersey Mike's or a Subway, this is like seven bucks. Canada still has them. Or I could just go to any deli and get a sandwich, which is fine. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Let us smugly mock gaming history. Sony PlayStation Ultra 500 video games. Oh, okay. You know, notice how I took that. I took that personally. I don't know why I did. <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with me? I'm watching this commercial. I'm like, you take that back. You don't make fun of Pong. It's just a bunch of Gabagoolians, my people, making fun of Pong for Sony's benefit. Weird. I haven't seen this mascot in a long time. Then again, I don't watch TV, really, so... Probably doesn't exist as much. Played the game. Gone forever. Now there's Spot, the video game. Ask your parents to see specially marked bottles of 7-Up for details. Mm. I mean, it is just a red circle with sunglasses well so I'm wondering like is it like copyright can't we just bring him back and just like you know can you copyright a shape wearing sunglasses Now there's Spot, the video game. Ask your parents to see specially marked bottles of 7-Up for details. You know you can never be too careful. Accidents happen all the time. You know I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance. Oh dear, not again. I'm not going to be a victim twice. I'm calling 1-800-VICTIM-2. A free 15-minute call can oh get compensation for your injuries. Call 1-800-VICTIM-2. Oh, my God. <laughs> be a victim twice. Call 1-800-VICTIM-2. Hablamos español. Uh, it's New York. I heard that the squirrel had a New York accent. I knew it. I was like, yeah, it's got to be somewhere around the boroughs, but fucking hell. Uh, and, and, like, it's a microphone. It's like, all right, we're going to call 1-800-SQUIRREL. It's like, dude, back away from the microphone. Stop eating it. I know you're a squirrel, you but it's not a nut. A battlefield of the future. 2049. Wars Jedi Arena. Becoming a Jedi Master takes practice. Using your lightsaber, try to penetrate your opponent's defenses. But watch out, the Whirling Seeker can attack on its own. So Looks like shit. <laughs> I'm okay making fun of this, but not Pong. You. Play the Jedi Arena home video game. Alone or head to head, the challenge awaits you. Who are these Star Wars OCs? Challenger who dares to oppose you. Darth Atari? Play the Jedi. Interesting though, because this is like 1982. I guess Return of the Jedi didn't even come out yet. Just really interesting to see the extended Star Wars universe around the time the Star Wars movies were still, the original ones were still being produced. It's like how different things looked at that time. Here's a commercial I don't remember, but I have I've definitely seen. Cannons and gladiator droids. I've seen Beggar's Canyon. Oh, it's Blade Runner. And Imperial Sewers. I've seen dead ends and infinite space. I've seen 360 degrees of tomorrow. And for once live to tell about it because i've got the ultimate fighting machine i mean maybe it's a blade runner reference the i've seen isn't 100 percent blade runner but um it, it's like the speech at the end of the movie but that's a weird combo if so 
Regardless, I know I've seen that because I was so hyped for this game. I've seen and you know what? I was young, so it kind of delivered for me. And it was still real early on the N64. I've seen Beggar's Canyon. I liked it. Seeing things isn't unique to Blade Runner? Alright, well, fuck you. <laughs> Only a little, though. Yeah, here's another genre of commercial, family theme song, like a TV show from this era. It's a lot of that kind of stuff, like, you know, like jingles. Upbeat family theme song. I'm Superman, the Ferris in the land. I'm taking you to the John. I love this guy. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. It's not even saying the words. I'm Little John. Don't mail it in. Bring it in and get your cash today. Oh, that, that one was awesome. Um, yeah, it's a Superman theme from the um, the original movies. Where is this? Where's Churchill Downs? Vinny, go back to the shoes. So Kentucky, okay. Oh, those are some, <laughs> those are some boots. Holy fuck! Whoa. But look, look, when they're flying, his words like do not match his mouth movement. Good enough. Keep it. Keep it. It's fine. All right, chat. Here's another poop. By Activision. Quick. Little John has a ton of commercials just as bad as that. Good. Wait a minute. Oh my God. Do we have a content that... Wait, 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 wait. Hang on a minute. Chat, we may have content that was not shown yet. I don't see the refrigerator guy in any of these commercials. Did I miss the refrigerator commercial? Huh. Where was that one? It's a classic meme. Oh, never mind. Oh! Do I look like I know what a meme is? <laughs> Rewind. Nope. It, nope, nope, nope. Gonna... Thank you. Excuse me. Speak. Man, I spent it. <laughs> <laughs> who 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 are you stomping, Chris Pratt? Mortal Kombat. Street. Oh God! I've seen dead I love you, DK. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Like breakout, you'll love super breakout. It's got it should have just ended with Koopas. 
<sighs> All right. Um, we have time for some more chat. We have time for some more. I don't think we're going to finish the segment entirely, but let me see. How far are we? So we get the little John's commercial. All right, let's keep going. Let's, let's go a little bit more. I will, of course, add any commercials I miss to the next time I do this. There just seems to be infinite commercials. Mario Pinball. <laughs> that was Mario beatboxing that whole time, chat. How fast do you have to be to play the new Super R type for Super NES? This fast. Whoa. Super R type from Iron for Super NES. See how good you really are. Super R type for Nintendo is hot, but you can't always stick around the house because. Timmy, get down here! In emergencies, you gotta try Chat, you see the background of this commercial? See how good you really are. Is that this background? By chance? Did they film it in the same place? How fast do you have to be to play the new Super R type for Super NES? This fast. Excuse me, you're in my seat. I don't think so. Silent in Smash! I actually don't think I've ever seen this commercial. Settle the score by creating your own Mii Fighter and taking on Nintendo's greatest characters in Super Smash Brothers! Settle it in Smash with Super Smash Brothers! Now Chad, I gotta say... Nintendo 3DS. Rated everyone. 10 and up. Hey. That was like when the demo for the 3DS version launched. That was very, very cool. And I remember getting... I think the full game came out. Like, I was so fucking excited for it. And so I was like, yeah, of course I'm going to get the 3DS version. It was so, so fucking exciting. And then I remember Comic-Con. It came out around then. So I was playing it, like, on the ferry to New York City. <laughs> and, I like, there were moments where I would sneak away from the convention and relax a little bit and play, uh, play Smash 3DS. <laughs> You gonna save your fish? No? All right. You left it on again, didn't you? There are games, and then there's Tekken 3. Okay. Well, it's, ga it's a game. It's a game. Your fish is dead. Save him. Oh, cool. What is this? Earthly horrors beyond our comprehension? Hmm. Vinny, go back. He has a bong. Wait, who had a bong? In, in the Tekken commercial or, or in this one? I believe you, chat member. I believe you. Oh shit, Lara Croft drives that? Oh. Uh, okay. Vinny, the Tekken 3 commercial, uh, sorry, game commercial implied someone came out of the TV. Does it count? Yeah, it counts. But we're not counting, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Dream of California! Vous êtes loin d'avoir tout vu. 
This Sims 2 commercial has a text file. There are two commercials. One is for the base game, the other is for the university expansion pack. The other is an ad for the herbs sim in the city. Okay. How will you play with The Sims 2. Rated T for T. Oh. Weird. All these small people. I don't know, it's something kind of uncomfortable about this. Wait, were they just gonna watch them, you know, go at it? What are your plans for college? The Sims 2 universe Probably not to hold dominion over a three-inch tall person. <laughs> the herbs. Is this DMCA? Yeah, it probably is. I mean, there's really not much you can do about it. This is one of those things, chat. It's Black Eyed Peas. I didn't even know that. But um, here's the deal. You just kind of have to accept it. As long as it doesn't get blocked, I don't mind if it doesn't get monetized. It's fine. I just don't want it to get blocked, and there therefore people cannot watch it, and then I have, you know, annoying YouTube notifications. Did you know you play? Did you know? <laughs> there was a Black Eyed Peas song in your video. Hello, this is American Yokai. Nanka Yokai? American Yokai! Okonabo? Marunage! Obaga! Nanka Yokai, American Yokai, shit house to buy! Yeah! Shit house to buy? Wait, what? what is that? What did I just watch? American Yokai, shit house to buy! Yeah! Uh-huh. Yokai watch. Um, what was it? Shit house to buy? No, no, Shin Hatsubai. Oh. Different thing entirely. On sale now, it means Shihat... Shihatsubai. Not as impactful without the sound effects, is it? I swear, I've seen more Lara Croft tonight than I have in the rest of my history as a gamer. And when I say gamer, I, I like, kind of almost taste a little bile. But, I, I'm gonna say it anyway. <laughs> How does Lara Croft live with the back pain? What, the back pain of carrying the PlayStation on her back? You know, in those early days? Chad, I'm just bored. I'm just bored by these commercials, I'll be honest. Some of them are fine, and like, I, they're like doing some funny stuff with them, but a lot of it's just like cutscenes, and that's that's okay, I guess, but... Like, I start, my eyes start to glaze over, and my brain stops processing individual events, and it just turns into a mush of like, legs, guns, and, to and tombs, and dogs. It's weird. Anyway, Tomb Raider was on the end gauge. But did you know that Tom and Jerry was on... this? Those are some crusty Tom and Jerry 3D models. <clears throat> I don't even know what that is. Those were horrendous. I'm so sorry, Tom and Jerry. You didn't deserve this. Starlight TVC is apparently the name of this thing. I don't know. 
one woman. Oh boy. Face her ultimate destiny. Oh god. All right, next. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh no. So much is unseen. Next. Long buried in a fallen civilization, the power of the underworld no. will be unleashed. No. Long buried in a fallen civilization. Oh God. Apparently, this is DMCA high alert. I don't know, like, it's- is it the movie? Tomb Raider X Adrenaline Life? It's an energy drink. <laughs> Lara, please! Yeah, this is Tomb Raider Overload. Like, if you're out there, like, making commercial packs, definitely space them out. Wait. Immer überraschend, wie Frauen eben sind. Brigitte. For a magazine? They were advertising magazines with Lara Croft? Of course. Yes, of course. No, it was vital. It, you know, she had to do that to get through the lasers, chat. Whom's the fuck? Oh, go on, Lara. Touch me. Who is this loathsome creature? I hate him. That was like Carrot Top Jagger. And he was like, oh yeah, go on there, Laura, touch me. Yeah, that's nice. On, Beautiful. <laughs> what is this fucking thing? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh shit, triangles? Impossible to match triangles. Chat, I want to go back in time, like 25 years, and get Taco Bell item, and then get the same item current year, and just see what it's like. I want to see how different the formula has changed, and like if it's better or worse in my memory or in the past. I don't know. I want to find out. Oh no. This is a Visa commercial, chat. I'll spoil it. it. It's a Tomb Raider Visa commercial, and it's like two minutes long. And there's action scenes, and there's flips, and there's badassery. I promise it's cool. Okay, next. <laughs> You're never gonna guess what game this is. Oh, chat got Just it. Because you've got Lots hair. of chat members got Doesn't it. Mean you've got the power. Rated e for everyone. It's fucking Tomba. Tomba too. The Tomba. evil swine return. I'm Jammer Lammy. Like pigeons. That's fun. That's just just a little ass. Just gonna get a little ass chat. Double roll. 
I might have showed this one. I don't remember 100%, but this was some weird fucking game where you rode a, a unicycle. Uh, I remember seeing this at Blockbuster, and I was like, nah, I'm good. Not really into unicycles. <laughs> yeah, no, no, they're not riding the unicycle. I'm sorry, the unicycle is riding itself. Our panel of Daredevil discusses uni races only for Super NES. It's like single wheel boarding. Down the track, double roll, fly! How did you find the two player action? I wonder how this actor felt having to do this. I was a Shakespearean trained theater actor and I have to work with these clowns. Next week, doing triple flips without tossing your crumpets. Good night. Where has my career gone? I mean, I was in Juilliard. I was in... I was in... Harvard. I was in the, the Royal Shakespeare Cavalier Troupe. I'm working opposite these delinquents. <laughs> That's alright, he's dead now, chat. The pain's all gone. <laughs> I kind of like that. Like, that's like the second song someone would ever write. But yet, there's something something really pure about the simplicity of it. <laughs> like, I kind of like it. Video okay, game underground. I don't know, I kind of like it, chat. It, it kind of reminds me of this. I got one more poop for you tonight, chat. And the next segment, I'll wrap in all the other ones I didn't do tonight. One more, final poop, it's gotta deliver. It's gonna be a lot of Tomb Raider. Another chance to play. Hey, Tone. Hey, Tone. By creating your own me fighter. Honestly, this YouTube poop is almost no different than some of the Tomb Raider stuff. <laughs> Hang on, I like that was there was a good one. That was perfect. That might have been one of the most perfect YouTube poop moments that this thing has ever generated. One more time. Stop! Oh boy! Oh boy. We generate so many of these just for, like, two seconds of content farming. In a lot. Did anyone recognize that scene? Yep. Yep. Sometimes I throw the whole Rem Lazar movie into the YouTube poop generator. I don't think so. There he is. How will you <laughs> we got uh, just a moment of inverted Rem. You know, listen, the YouTube poop stuff, you know as well as I know, as well as you know, as well as I know, that most of it is shit. <laughs> but I kind of can't stop doing it now because I feel like sometimes when it hits, like the oil drum moment, like, you know, listen, we wouldn't have shitting in an oil drum if it wasn't for that. Hey, Pops, does this thing work? So I got to at least do it 
I don't need to do it as much, but as long as we do, like, say, if the ratio is like it is tonight, I have no problem with it. But more than that, and uh, and it's not really that great. But I hope you enjoyed uh, this classic game commercials plus other. Still the best one had to be the SpongeBob one where he screams sperm. Oh, yeah, there is that, isn't there? Yeah. Well, chat, that's about it. I'm done. Um, I'm tired now. Stream's over. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the commercial thing. Uh, I don't know why this has become one of my most popular things that I do, but I have learned to enjoy it, and I hope you do too. So we got to experience some nostalgia and some weird stuff and some weird faces and a dog with a gun to its head and oh god shit yeah there's a couple that i'm gonna have to add to a folder um but i will say overall if it's anything we've learned from this commercial showcase it's that a lot of people that approved these commercials were on drugs good night chat i'll see you during the week We'll finish up Mario Rabbids. I'll play a little Pokemon. I'll probably, um, I don't know what else I'll stream. No more Jesus Christ game. Maybe Goat Sim. I haven't thought of maybe, uh, maybe I'll resume it. Maybe I don't care. I don't know. But um, we'll probably play Bayonetta 3 and, you know, might do some more of that Callisto game. And uh, soon Crisis Core comes out as well. So, Vinny, any retro games coming up? I will tell you this. No, not yet. <laughs> and the reason I say not yet is because I have a lot of stuff I want to get to, though I do have several retro games in mind for the near future. So I will definitely let you know what those are when the time comes. If you have an idea for a Sunday stream showcase, vinesauce.email is how you can get in touch. Go there and then fill out the contact form. Thank you, everybody, that helps keep Sunday Stream alive. Thank you for the continued support. I appreciate you very much. The amount of people that have been here tonight consistently over 10K blows my fucking mind. And I, I'm i extremely grateful, chat. Thank you for that. Thank you for being here. I'm glad we can all share some nonsense and Jesus together. Um, so, yeah, and thanks, mods, for keeping things moving. I appreciate it. And uh, check out some of my other streamer friends. If you get a chance, chat, you might enjoy them. Because Jerma has been very supportive of me. Same for Ross. Same for pretty much all the people I stream with from time to time. And I hope you check out their stuff too. Good night.